Welcome in once again to the SWU Sports Network for another edition of the Coaches Show. I'm Kay Crenshaw, joined today by our men's soccer coach, Coach Corandello, Coach Q. To some, Coach, how you doing? I'm doing well. How are you, buddy? Doing fine, doing fine. You know, we're uh, progressively moving through the spring here, getting closer and closer to summer now. Uh, of course, you're the fresh face on campus here, now in your first year with the Warriors. What's it been like, your adjustment, moving into the area and moving into becoming a part of the Warrior family? Uh, well, you know, I mean, the first, what are we, three months now? Um, it's been fantastic. Lots of energy. Um, the squad is small. You know, we had a, some graduating, some transfer, and so um, it feels a lot more intimate right now. So I think that's good for us because, you know, that close-knit. Uh, so as far as the players go, getting to really know them, um, staff, you know, other coaches, the athletic department. And now I've been here long enough starting to rub elbows with other departments and stuff like that, really feeling part of the SWU family. So. Yeah, all in all, it's been fantastic uh, going to other spring sports, you know, family being involved and everybody's adjusting nicely and really enjoying it. No, it's an exciting time building new relationships, getting some SWOO gear yeah. for you as well, but uh, that doesn't mean recruiting can slow down because we oh. have a season coming up here in the fall. So what's that been like? Uh, where all where you've been traveling to? What's the class looking like first? What numbers right, are you looking at? Right. Like? Well, um, right now we're sitting on 10 new recruits. Um, probably would be picking up just a few more. So basically, uh, my team will double in size over the summer. Um, so that'll be a big adjustment. Um, it'll be interesting to kind of see where that's gonna you know, go with um, bringing in a bunch of uh, new faces, but also the returning players, we're very young. Um, right now, it's all freshmen, sophomores. So um, it's a very young and uh, energetic squad. Um, We've got some recruits uh, from Texas, um, talking with a few uh, up north, Indiana area, North Carolina, uh, have one signed from there, South Carolina. It's nice right now, the southern states, many of the southern states have the spring season for high school soccer. So um, right now I've been traveling locally, um, Georgia, looked at uh, some players there, and, and this next, the remainder of this month, I'll be uh, all over uh, South Carolina checking out, and maybe a few left up in North Carolina I wouldn't mind go taking a look at. Well, as you start to build your program here, what's some things, you know, of course you have your coaching style and things you want to put in, conditioning and practice, but what's some off-the-field things, some philosophical things you want to build in this program as far as your own methods, your own mindset? Right, right. Well, I'm, first and foremost, I'm a lifelong athlete. Um, you know, grew up playing all different kinds of sports. Uh, we went with the season, you know, when it was winter, we played indoor stuff. When it was summer, we're outside. And, um, and if there wasn't a sport going on, we made something up. <laughs> and I think that when I think about, I'm just going to say it like this. When I think about being in, if not the, one of the most overweight countries in the world, and yet we're sports crazed, we're, we're dishing out all sorts of money for scholarships, we're making, generating all sorts of money with, you know, uh, sports at all levels. And yet, where are we 20 years later? So some of the things that I'm trying to instill with my players is that I want them to be coaches. I want them to be dads running around with their kids, helping with the community, being athletically fit in some way long after their college and potentially professional career is over. So one of the things that we're doing is we're incorporating a lot of old school stuff. And um, you know, it's not new to me. I've been doing it for a long time. Sure, sure. Um, but uh, yeah, so I think that this, this spring has been a time for us, not so much on the conditioning and looking at technical, tactical things on the field, but it's been really more setting the tone and the base for some major philosophical uh, changes in the way they perceive, you know, training and building this program. Of course, uh, the season still a few months away, and schematic-wise, that's still a few weeks down the road. But as you start out spring conditioning, get into weight room, out on the field, doing different drills like that, what's the spring season look like for you guys as far as conditioning and uh, building up your strength as your team goes? Right now, it's it's giving them a glimpse of some of the things we'll be doing in the fall. Um, you know, once you take a few weeks off with this sport, you've already you know, we we call it detrained. You know, the detraining period after three or four weeks, you've kind of already lost enough that you have to start rebuilding and, and it's kind of the maintenance part is, is you know is kind of key so for the spring for me right now it's looking at the mechanics how we actually are doing some of the things running turning approaching the ball um, we did some we were fortunate enough to be able to uh, run the athletes through 
um, some PhysiMax um, assessments, motion assessments with software that we have uh, access to, and it gives us um, a picture of where my athletes are susceptible to injuries, um, their deficiencies and their flexibilities, and, and things of that nature. So really, I would say this spring has been a big assessment on, on just the athlete's body. And what are we gonna look like come fall when we're starting to really hit it hard? Um, I'm putting together assessments for them. We've been doing a lot of, you know, like uh, Pilates and yoga and flexibility things. Um, and that's kind of new uh, for some of our guys. Um, the flexibility's coming, but uh, <laughs> that's, that's a deficiency that we have for sure. So, and that's a big concern for me because if you're not flexible in this sport, um, that's a big red flag for injury. Um, and so I, I'm not too concerned about the speed. Guys are pretty fast, um, technically sound. They know how to do different things. We've got some really gifted players. Um, so it's going to be, you know, protecting the body, uh, doing it my way, and then learning new systems and uh, systems of play. And so that's the tactical side of things, which I don't really want to dwell on too much in the spring because half my team's not here yet. And um, so we're just kind of maintaining and learning a few things right now. Coach, of course, uh, as we look across athletics, oftentimes coaches go to new places for, you know, to move up a tier in the job ranks or, you know, it's a head job where there was an assistant. I always like ask people this, especially in college athletics, what's your why? Why SLU? Why are you here? Oh, um, spiritually? I mean, when you've been, you know, you know, I mean, it's been over, what, 20, 25 years since I played in college. So um, this isn't about glory days. I'm not trying to, you know, redo some things of my shortcomings or things I didn't, you know, do well. At. I'm, I'm more than content, I'm more than happy with my life, what I've accomplished, um, the experiences that I had, you know, and, but when I think about my wife, you know, we met through sports in college and uh, coming on 25 years of marriage and ministry, um, having five kids that are college age, um, two others are kind of trying to act like it. <laughs> um, this is the, the people group I want to be with. I want to be with 18 to 22 year olds. I want to help, uh, you know, mold them. I want to help be there for them. I want to use sport. Sport brings out, you know, the best and the worst right. in our character. Right. And being in an established environment like SLU uh, with an incredible athletic department that's so supportive of the, the vision that we have for spiritual development first. Then comes the academic success and the community service and, and athletic excellence. But this sets the platform for me to be able to do the things on and off the field that I'm passionate about. And that's just changing people's lives, you know, and helping them. Someday my players need to be fantastic, you know, husbands and fathers and employees and, and employers, community, um, coaches, teachers whatever it is and so this to me is 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 not a stepping stone this to me is the greatest job in the world you see why we like it you see why it's a good fit here with the warriors coach q we appreciate you joining us here today on the coaches show and uh, best of luck through the spring season going into the fall thank you appreciate it that's coach q he's our men's soccer coach here at slu thank you for joining us once again here on the slu sports network another edition of the coaches show i'm kay crenshaw we'll see you next time <laughs>